I have found you, Erica. Seems you're as skilled as reports say. This is gonna be fun. Yes, yes, yes. I do love strong women. Shall we attack General Volter? No, we'll pass on dessert for now. Allow them to escape. We're leaving. Well, that was pointless. Prince Ennis, are you well? Erica, I'm sorry for troubling you. No, it was no trouble. Oh, Prince Ennis, thank goodness you're unharmed. Who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a member of Carsono's Council of Elders. My name is Klimt. A council member? So you're one of the traitors who ordered... P peace please! I have no intention of opposing you or quarreling with you. I, too, have been marked for death by Pablo. What is this all about? It's a shameful tale. Carsono is a nation divided. As you know, Carsono is no king, but is ruled by a council. But now the council is broken apart and the factions mired in discord. Factions? You're saying that the whole of Carsono is not betrayed Freelia? Correct. The moderate factions prefer to preserve our alliance with Freelia. Pablo's faction wishes to endear us to Grotto to surrender us to their armies. Once Pablo realized he couldn't ply us with bribes, he began to have us assassinated. Those of us who remain have taken refuge underground. We oppose him when we can. If he hadn't shown up, I'm not certain I would still be breathing. I do recall enemy troops combing this area when I arrived. They were searching for you, is that it? Pablo was usurped rule of the council. We have no choice but to hide. Not all of Carsono's council has gone over to Grotto's side, though. You must believe me, the whole of Carsono does not believe as Pablo does. I see. Lord Klimt, I understand the hardships you've endured. I am pleased to hear all of Carsono is not our foe. I will depart at once for Freelia to explain our circumstance to the king. I think it is best you return to Freelia as well. Pablo has considerable wealth and he commands a vast mercenary force. I'm sure he'll send more of them this way as soon as he is able. Prince Ennis, Tethys and I are staying with you. Is that going to work? Yes, I would appreciate the help. Starting now, you've got a new contract, though. The pay's double. If the two of you hadn't stayed with me back there, I would not have survived. Garrick, Tethys, thank you. You have my gratitude. Tell me something, Prince. Did you get, er, hit in the head during that last skirmish? That's unkind. My neck is not so stiff that I cannot show gratitude. I would ask for your continued support in the days ahead. We both ask for your help. We've got a deal. Let's keep each other alive. Ah, there you are, sister. Ewan, how is it? What are you doing here? I told you to wait in the inn and behave yourself, didn't I? Yeah, but you always run off and disappear. It's not fair. I want to have adventures, too. You are such an imp. I am not out here running about having fun, you know. I know. That's why I came to see you. I can help. My teacher finally got around to teaching me some magic. Check this out. H hey, knock it off. You shouldn't be using magic here. Well, I just thought maybe I could help you work is all. I can protect you now, sis. Come on, take me with you. I don't want to stay in that inn anymore. Oh, all right. I'll go and speak to the chief and Princess Erica. Don't wander off while I'm gone. Yahoo! Princess Erica, Princess Ennis, I think we should follow the advice we've been given and return to Freelia. Continuing on through Carsno like this is too great of a risk for your safety. The peril is self-evident. However, I have to reach Johanna, and the only way is through Carsno. If I don't hurry, nations will fall, one after another, to Grotto's hunger. Ennis is right, and the road to Ralston leaves me through both Carsno and Johanna. However, pressing on will only invite more mercenary attacks. Hey, I've got the answer. I know a way that leads over the mountain straight to Jahana. Want me to guide you? And who might you be? You and shush! You know better to interrupt people when they're talking. I'm so sorry. Please let me take my brother out of the way. Come on, Ewan. Let's go. No, no, wait, please. Do you really know a route through the mountains? That's what I said. At the top of that mountain, there's a village named Ker Pelen. That's where my teacher lives. I'm sure he'll lead you through if you ask him nicely. What is your teacher's name? My teacher? His name is Saleh. Saleh. I've heard that name on the lips of Freelia's spy network lately. 
He's a powerful wielder of magic who has been fighting bandits and monsters. The spies mentioned something about a Ker Pelen, if I remember. What do you think? Hmm, if my spies are accurate, this Sala is someone we can trust. Very well, Ewan. Will you take us to meet your teacher? Are you sure you can do this, Ewan? Not a problem. All right, everyone. See if you can keep up. So, there we go. But, um... I'm actually going to stop here and take a break, because I've been recording for two and a half hours now. But when I come back, uh, I'll probably do a small bit of grinding. Uh, not too much, just to get uh, Garrett caught up a little more. But let me see. We have 14, 13... 10, 12, 11, 11, 12. Maybe I'll try to get everybody to 13 or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll try to get everyone to 13, and then I'll continue from there. But right now, things are looking pretty good. I have a pretty good army right now. Tana is really doing good work. Franz is always doing good work. Even my other units are having small bouts of brilliance every now and then. So yeah, that's uh, going to be it. This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. I'll see you guys next time for Chapter 11, Creeping Darkness. Later, folks. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones playthrough. Before we get started with the next chapter, I'll very quickly go over my units. Uh, I gave Natasha a new heal staff because the old heal staff was about to run out. And I also gave her the Torch Staff that I got from one of the uh, other chapters. I don't know, I got a Torch Staff somewhere from one of the last few chapters. And I gave that to her because a Torch Staff will definitely come in handy in this uh, next chapter for sure. Uh, let's see, didn't do anything for Gilliam, although I probably should. Let me see, what lances do I have in here? You know what, I'm going to go buy him a Steel Lance because I think he could use one. I think I'll also give him the javelin, too, that um, Franz currently has. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Uh, loot did nothing. Archer did nothing. Joshua, I gave him the Shamshir, which is the sword that uh, Marissa came with. Uh, the Shamshir is pretty much a better killing edge. It does a lot more damage. Its critical hit ratio is a lot higher. Uh, the only thing about the Shamshir is that many, only like three types of units can use it, and those are Myrmidons, Swordmasters, and uh, Erica. Erica can definitely use the Shamshir for some reason. But yeah, like, uh, Garrick can't use the Shamshir, uh, Colm can't use it, only uh, Swordmaster classes and uh, the uh, the Skillful Lord, Lord class, I guess. And I also gave him a Lance Reaver too, because I think he'd probably benefit most from that. Uh, Garrick doesn't really matter. He has high defenses, so Lance users won't do much to him anyway. Uh, Niemi gave her a silver bow, which is the bow that Ennis came with. And I also gave her a long bow, too, because I had that laying around. Uh, Ross, I got him a steel axe. Garrick, uh, I gave him an iron sword, a steel sword, and one of the killing edges I had. I got a killing edge from some grinding I did a little while ago, so I used the uh, killing edge for that for him, because that'll be a good weapon for him. Calm did nothing, Franz did nothing, Tana did nothing. I mean, why mess Why mess with perfection right now? Uh, Erica didn't do anything. I did give her the rapier, but I think I did that beforehand. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I also sold the uh, gems that I got from the last chapter. That gave me a lot of money. And before I do anything, let's very quickly go back here so I can buy Gilliam a Steel Lance. Because you know why he could use a Steel Lance. I think he'll be fine with it. And yeah, let's move on to the next chapter, Kair Palen. The Kair Palen Range. According to Ewan, a little-known passage to Johanna lies there. Hidden within its cracked red bedrock and knife-edged peaks. To avoid Carcino in combat, Erica's troops take the mountain path. They begin climbing higher and higher towards Kaer Palin. Unbeknownst to the group, hordes of dark creatures now roam the peaks. Oh no. 
think we have another monster battle. We haven't seen one of these for a while. I mean, we did do that uh, little monster skirmish in between uh, the first part of the game and this part of the game. We're almost there. Come on. My teacher lives just up ahead. Slow down, Ewan. Let's stick together. This fog is getting thick. I don't expect any more surprise attacks, but that doesn't mean we... Quit worrying, mister. You're gonna get left behind. Don't speak to me, boy. I don't tolerate insolence. Ennis, he's only a child. There's no reason to be so rude. He is helping us, after all. That's right. Without me, you'd never get to where you're going. So come on already. Stop. Don't take another step. Huh? That's gonna make it awfully hard to get where we need to go. What do you know about that fort? It looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Is anyone using it? Nope, it's really run down. Nobody ever goes there. It's been empty for ages. I've been inside, so I know. Is that right? Then what's that sound, and where is it coming from? Huh? What sound? Hey, you're right. I do hear a weird noise. You can hear that? Neat. You've got really good hearing. I wonder what it is. There it is again. Prince, is this... Erica? Yes? Get your troops ready. Tell them to prepare for battle. We've been spotted. Monsters are coming. Oh, goody. Ewan, it's dangerous here. Get behind me. No way, I'm gonna fight too. No, you're too young. You're not ready for this. Are you going to do as I say or not? I don't know what I would do if you were to get injured. Oh, okay. What spacious chambers! Hmm, a bit musty, but I like it. I have decided we'll bed here for the night. I do wonder where Rennick disappeared to, though. I told him not to wander off, but... Hmm. Lady Alarchelle, this could be trouble. What is it, Dazla? Look there, through that break in the fog. Looks like we got some nasty creatures running about this place. I can't see a thing. But this can't be nothing but good fortune shining down upon us again. Losing our way in the mountains and running into these abominations? There can be no doubt we were brought here to destroy these foul things. Come, Dazla, we fight. Gwahaha! <laughs> My heart cries out for battle. Okay, so looks like uh, La Rochelle and Dazel will be joining us in this fight. But we have to actually get to them first. Uh, they're quite a ways away. And yes, this is a monster skirmish. Now, uh, let me see what the conditions are. Conditions. Where are the conditions? Oh, defeat enemy. Okay, so this is one of those chapters where you just have to defeat all of the enemies. And once you do, uh, you win, basically. Uh, I can't bring all of my units, which is very, very unfortunate. Because I would like to be able to bring Tethys and, uh, well, one more of my units. I don't need to bring Tethys, but this does mean I have to bench someone. I guess I could bench Franz because he is, like, really, really far ahead in levels right now. Although a part of me really hates doing that. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll have to. And as for Tethys, I mean... She's not really going to be that useful, so I don't have to bring her. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need everybody else, though. Yeah, I want to bring everyone else. I think I'll go with this. Now, as usual, thieves are going to be very, very helpful here, and so will uh, Natasha with her heal staff. Natasha's basically going to make it so I can actually see what's going on through here. And I think I'm going to go this way to approach the fort. Or at least this part right here. Everyone else, I think, is just going to go around. Uh, this chapter can be kind of tricky because you want to make sure you get all the chests before you leave. And uh, you don't want to accidentally defeat some troops that will prevent you from doing that. So in a way, maybe almost going this way would be better. I really don't know. I think I will definitely take Garrick down here, though. Garrick should be fine by himself. No doubt about it. Uh, what do we got up here, though? Poison Bow? If I'm lucky enough, I can destroy this guy before he even does anything. So I think I'm going to try that. As far as everyone else, obviously everyone else is going to be going this way. 
I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take Colm this way, probably. This way I can also use him to see what's over here. And then I can just kind of keep Natasha in the middle, using the Torch Staff whenever I think I'll need to. Let's see, I'll go ahead and put you away. Uh, this should be good enough. Let me go ahead and put you here. Okay, let's see what we can do. And yes, we'll finally be able to recruit both uh, La Rochelle and her uh, companion Dazla now, too. Which is nice. They've kind of been uh, teasing us for a while now. So it'd be good to finally use them. Uh, first off, we're going to use Calm just to see what's up ahead. Yikes, a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies, but I'll be ready for them. Let's go ahead and give him the Iron Lance. Joshua, I wish I could actually put you on this bush right here, but you can't, so... I'll just stick you right here, and I'm going to give you the Lance Reaver. Because I think these guys... Well, some of them have lances anyway. And I'll just put Erica here, too. Funnily enough, I don't think they can actually get over to Joshua because of that forest. So they're just going to end up fighting Gilliam every single time. But that's fine. Uh, next, we're going to use you to use the torch staff. We'll torch it up right here. See what we got. Ooh, okay. This doesn't look too dangerous. I think Garrick can definitely take this by himself. Oh, yeah, he definitely can. He's just going to plow through all these guys. Now, can we actually get rid of Mr... Skeleton Archer? We can. Nice job, Niemi. Getting rid of all those nasty surprises. And... Yeah, I think I'm just going to take everyone else and go this way. Garrick is kind of a one-man wrecking crew anyway, so we shouldn't have any issues. Uh, poison Sword, Iron Sword. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, what are these guys going to do? Yeah, fight Garrick. Do what you want. You're not going to live. You may get two damage on me, but that's the only two damage you're ever going to get on anybody. Because you're dead. I freaking love Garrick so much. Garrick is so freaking good. I'm surprised these guys can do damage to Gilliam. Although Gilliam is kind of falling behind a little bit. Uh, mainly in terms of his defense. His defense is not reflective of a level 13 uh, knight, that's for sure. And yeah, Dazzle is also going to be fine. He's going to protect La Rochelle, no problem. Oh, there we have a Moth Dog. Like I said before, they're kind of the uh, hit hard and fast, but they have very low HP and defenses, so... That's essentially what they're going to be like. I guess I could use Niemi here to help out... Um, What's-his-face? Uh, Garrick. Hopefully she doesn't miss here, though. Okay, good. Wouldn't have been a problem if she did miss, but still, this is going to make things go a little bit faster, which is always nice. Actually, since Garrick's the only one that got hit, let me go ahead and heal him. And then I can move back the other way and use the torch staff again. But quite literally, we can just use the iron sword and Garrick will do a lot of freaking damage. That's what's freaking awesome about him. He just uses the iron sword. The weakest sword in the game, aside from maybe like a slim sword or something. I think maybe even the poison sword is weaker too. But yeah, he, he'll always like do full damage. Which is freaking insane. That's why I really like Garrick. He's so freaking powerful. But I'm not going to try to sing his praises all day long. Because trust me, if I sang all of his praises, we'd be here for a very long time. <laughs> and no, I do want to make some progress today. Uh, I would like to be able to move him. 
Uh, what do you guys have? You have an iron sword, you have a lance. Yeah, I really do need him here. Do you have a lance? No, you have a sword also. Well, let's use Tana again. I mean, Tana showed that she can frickin' kill everything. In that last chapter where she was a frickin' MVP. Taking out the damn boss for crying out loud. I'm so proud of Tana. Tana and Franz. I don't think they have a support relationship, but if they did, I would definitely get them together after all of this. Okay, this is probably going to be stupid, but... Oh, no, I got him. I mean, it was still a stupid move, but I want to get rid of him. Just so I could uh, move more units a little bit further. No. Let's see, you're not going to be in range. No, you're not. You're fine. I might get attacked by the archer, but... Boo freaking who. It's a damn archer. The moth dog's pro... Oh, no, he can't make it yet. He has far movement, but he doesn't have that far of a movement. Yes, break your weapons on... Gilliam Steel. I almost said Gotri. What is with me, like, messing up the Fire Emblem names with characters, other characters that are those classes? I was freaking calling Artor Lucius earlier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, your arrow missed me. Big deal. I will go cry about it in the corner. Actually, it was close. Now, La Rochelle is... Uh, I don't want to say she's weak. She definitely has some good stats for a level 3 troubadour. But, you know, she can't fight back. She can't do anything, so... She is definitely vulnerable. She is the third and final healer you'll get in this game, by the way. Okay. Next. Yeah, I think Garrick's going to be fine. I'm going to... Actually, I don't need to use the Torch Staff yet, really. Maybe I can move further down and use it. Because I really don't need any healing on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, let's try it, I guess. I want to say the boss is down here. Yeah, he is. Okay, I didn't think about that. I probably won't move uh, Garrick any further in this direction then. Because I don't want to eliminate the boss too early. And pretty much eliminate all of the outside troops when... You know, there's obviously still the treasure chest to get. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and use Archer since I didn't get to use him before. I also might use Ross to try and pick off the enemies on the other side of the wall. Let's see, we got a slim sword, we got an iron lance, we have... Oh, this guy has a longbow. That's gonna be annoying. Well, in that case, I'm gonna keep uh, these guys on this diagonal, or this line, not diagonal. Just so I can maybe draw them out and then take them out next turn. Yeah, you meanwhile do this. Go ahead and use the Lance Reaver. I know he doesn't have a Lance, but some of these other units might. And that is what I'm trying to avoid. Wait, what do you have? Iron Lance. Eh. Nope. Oh, yeah, she can't use her weapon. I forgot about that. Oh, whatever. I'll do this then. Please don't miss. Thank you. <sighs> T 
Take that, mouth dog. Or whatever your name is. I'll go ahead and put Ross here. Put you here. I'm not going to let Erica or Luke get attacked, though. I already put um, Artor in danger almost, so I'm not going to do the same. Oh, I guess I could use Niemi to attack. I didn't think about that. I forgot she had the longbow. I can very well do that. Okay, weapon level increased. Maybe I can use the short spear now. Maybe. Just maybe. But yeah, we did see the uh, upgraded class of the skeletons down here. I believe they're called Whites. Like W-I-G-H-T. They're interesting, but they're not nothing to really worry about. Yep, Whites. Can't kill him with Niemi though. Maybe I'll use Niemi to destroy the first guy. Like I really don't want to move further with Garrick right now. Yep, she can use the spear. Perfect. But I want to see if I can uh, kill him with Ross first of all. Perfect, nice. Good gerb. Very good gerb. And meanwhile, I'm going to use you so I can see a little further. Nothing seems to be perilous about the road at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and move further. I really hope there isn't like an archer waiting for me, like in the darkness of those fields over there. That would be sucky if there was. But yeah, let's go ahead and move Tana in. Oh, God! Hello, Eyeball. I didn't see you there. Yeah, I think that was a bad movement of me to put Calm right there. Calm would probably do better elsewhere. And just so I can use this and get experience, I'm just gonna... Randomly fog right there. Or defog. Because there's no one who needs healing over here, so why not? 